In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with reflections. In example B, it says reflect triangle ABC over the y-axis. So here's our y-axis, it's the vertical line. And when we're reflecting, it's like we're gonna flip the triangle across that y-axis, so it will end up over here. So to do that exactly correctly, you should take each of the three vertices and figure out how far away they are from the y-axis. So A is one, two, three, four units away from the y-axis, so you have to count four units on the other side to find where A prime should go. And then you'll do the same thing for B and for C. C, I can see, is two units away, so C prime will be over here. And for B, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means count seven on the other side in order to get B prime. And then just connect your three vertices in order to get the triangle. Notice that it looks like if we were to fold this whole picture up across the y-axis, that the two triangles would match perfectly, and that's a sign that we did it correctly. In example C, it says reflect the triangle ABC with vertices A45, B71, and C96 over the line X equals five. So first let's set this up and plot the triangle and the line x equals five. All right, so here we are. We have the triangle on the line, and notice that the triangle is on both sides of the line. That means that the part of the triangle over here, which is on the left of the line, will move over to the right, and the part that's on the right will, right will flip over to the left. But we can do it the same way as we did um, example B. So we're gonna start with point A, and notice that A is one unit away from the line that we're reflecting across. So it will be one unit on the other side is A prime. For B, it's two units away. So count two units on the other side to get B prime. And C is one, two, three, four units away. So count one, two, three, four on the other side to get C prime. Finally, connect them all to get your image triangle. And again, notice that if it looked like we folded this whole picture up across that green line, everything would match up perfectly. This whole shape here, if you think about the two of triangles combined, that whole thing has reflection symmetry. So that means we did it right. In example D, it says reflect square ABCD over the line Y equals X. So with a diagonal line like this, you have to be careful that when you're counting how far away your points are, that you are counting along a, along a line that's perpendicular to the line you're reflecting across. So because the line y equals x has a slope of one, it means that the lines we're counting for the distances should have a slope of negative one. So for example, to figure out how far away a is from this line, we wanna count on a line that is has a slope of negative one. So I can see it has, it's A is three sort of diagonal units away. So count three more on the other side. And then this is where A prime will go. For B, it's only one diagonal unit away. So that gives me B prime. C is one, two diagonal units away. So C prime will be over here. And for D, we could count again, one, two, three, four units away, but some people will sometimes prefer, once they get a sense for where the points are, to just fill it in. They're good at sketching that without having to keep counting each point. So it depends on what works for you. And there is our resulting square.